What it do, Style Crew? It's your girl, Jay Styles, and I'm back with another video. So in today's video, we'll be making this beautiful, beautiful dress. I love the way this dress turned out. And here's the back. Grab your materials. And let's get started. So these are the items that you will need for this tutorial. I'm using I Love This Yarn in the color red. You'll need a pair of scissors, a measuring tape, This is a 4.5 crochet hook, and you will also need a tapestry needle. So jumping right into this tutorial, we're going to start off with a slip knot. And I like to do foundation double crochets when I am starting off basically anything. So I'm going to show you guys how I do it. So we're going to chain three. All right. Then we're gonna wrap our yarn prepare like we are making a double crochet. And in the very first stitch, so I like to go through the back bumps. In the very first stitch, we are gonna pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first loop. So now this makes the chain that we're gonna go into to make our double crochet. And now we are going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over pull through two and that is how we do our foundation chain so to do the second one you're going to yarn over insert your hook so let's look at this so it's like a braid right here and you're going to insert your hook under this first loop and find the second loop so i usually do it like that get both chains both chain loops on our hook like that and then we're going to pull up a loop yarn over pull through the first yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so one more time we are going to yarn over insert our hook under one under two so you see the chain Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through only the first loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that is how we make a double crochet foundation chain. So I like to use this method to start off all my projects, but if you're not comfortable with this, you want to chain up 112, go in the second chain from the hook, and you should have the same amount of stitches that we'll be using for the rest of this design. So once you have your 111 foundation chains, it should look something like this. So now we're going to go ahead and build the second row. So for the rest of this pattern, you're going to do a straight double crochet all the way until you have 35 rows. So this is how we begin the next row. So we're going to chain two. We're going to turn our work. And not where the chain two is coming out of, but in the next stitch over, we are going to place our double crochet. And now you're going to double crochet all the way down until you get to the very first stitch that you made and i'll show you where we're going to place our last double crochet how we will begin row three and the rest of the rows moving forward so here we are coming up on our last two stitches so we're going to double crochet into this stitch and we're going to place our last double crochet in our chain two. We're going to chain two. And now for the next 33 rows, we are going to repeat this same pattern again for a total of 35 rows. So not where the chain two was coming out of, but the stitch beside it. And we're going to double crochet all the way down so here we are with our first panel done this first panel has 35 rows in it with 111 
double crochet foundation chains so i'm going to show you guys the measurement of this panel even though it's going to be kind of difficult on camera so with the measurement of the panel it measures 14.5 inches and that's what i needed for my one panel size so i went ahead and made another one so you're going to go ahead and create two panels for this particular pattern, we chose 111 foundation chains, like I keep saying. And now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I slip stitched across this piece. We're going to leave some space for the slit on the opposite side, but you're going to want to go ahead and slip stitch down this whole entire panel. So I'm going to put the slit on the left side. I want your right sides to be facing each other. So if you have any imperfections on your wrong sides, you want the wrong sides to be on the outer layers. So you want the wrong sides to be on here and then the wrong sides to be on here. So that the front, the right sides are facing each other. And we are going to slip stitch from one end to another. And then we're going to save. Um, we're going to slip stitch down where we're going to leave like 35 we're going to leave like 35 stitches for our slit. I didn't show this as an option, but I like to pin my stitches together. I like to pin my panels together so that it's easier for me to stitch. So I'm just going to go ahead and pin the side panels together and then come back and show you guys. I'll slip stitch this whole side together. And on this side, when we reattach... We are going to count up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five. So we're going to count out about thirty five. And this is where I'm going to put my slit. I actually want a little bit more than 35. So 36, 37, 38. So we're actually going to count up. I counted up 38 stitches. And we're going to put a pin right here. So basically, when I get, when I get down to stitching, slip stitching on this side, I'm going to start at the top. And I'm going to work my way all the way down to my 38th stitch. And I'm going to leave this part. So I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to slip stitch. And then I'm going to pin mine down. And then I'm going to slip stitch. So what I like to do to slip stitch is flip over my work so that everything is facing me. And what I like to do is because this loop is in the back and I need it in the front. I'm going to insert my hook, pull the loop through, pull it, yarn over, pull through to secure it, and then we're going to go through the tops of both stitches, pull up a loop, and pull through so we are slip stitching all the way down yes you can single crochet however slip stitches lay flatter than single crochet i prefer to use that but you can go ahead and use a single crochet if you would like keep inserting our hook pulling up a loop and pulling through so you're going to slip stitch on this side all the way down and again on the other side you're going to slip stitch until you get to that pen so I will come back once we have slip stitched this whole piece together on both sides. So now that we have slip stitched this piece on both sides, I'm showing you here how I've slip stitched completely down one full side. And then when I turned the piece over, I started again at the top and slip stitched all the way down until I got to my pin. After I got to my pen, I secured it, fastened off, and tucked in my tail. So that's what I did right there from my slit area. 
Now what we're gonna do is turn this dress inside out. So now that our dress is turned inside out, you'll see here how our slip stitches look going across the side with the slit and how our slip stitches look across the full side of our tube dress. So now you wanna find the top of the dress. I like to start where the intersection of my slip stitches are to make my decreases around the top to pull in the dress. So how I'm gonna make my decreases is I'm gonna put two single crochets in every row and I'm gonna decrease over two rows. So what I mean is I'm gonna place two single crochets in the tops so two there two there two there then i'm going to decrease over those two two there two there two there then i'm going to decrease over those two so we're going to grab our yarn and i'm going to show you exactly what i'm talking about so starting off with a slip knot we're going to create our slip knot i'm going to drop it off the hook fix it in the back pull up my loop from the back, secure it, and in that first double crochet row, I'm gonna put two single crochets. And then I'm gonna move over and put two more single crochets. And I'm gonna move over again and put over two more single crochets. And now I'm going to do a single crochet decrease over the next two rows, just like that. And then repeat the pattern. So two single crochets, two single crochets, so on and so forth until I get to the end. And now I'm here at the end where I'm gonna put my last two single crochets and then I'm going to secure this round with a slip stitch. So after I secure this round with a slip stitch, we're going to fasten off this yarn so that we can use it to make our arm straps. So we're going to grab our scissors, cut off our yarn, and then we are going to secure our tail. This is another tail for us to weave in. And I already went ahead and took the liberty of marking off where I'm gonna put my arm straps. So I'm going to show you guys what I did. I counted 10 stitches in from the intersection of my slip stitches. So if you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So in your 11th, 12th, and 13th stitch, you're going to place your arm straps. So I'm gonna start off in the 13th stitch and work my way backwards. And then the same thing, count 10 stitches in. And then your 11, 12, 13th stitch is where you're gonna put your stitch marker. And I'm gonna start on the 11th stitch there and work my way in. You'll see what I'm talking about when we do it. So the same for the back, counted 10, 10, matched it up and that's what I did. So now we're gonna start off with a slip knot. Again, we're gonna drop our yarn in the 13th stitch, counting from the slip stitch intersection. We're going to draw up our loop chain three so that we can secure this one all the way down and put two double crochets in our next stitches. We're not gonna need our stitch marker at this point. We're gonna place two double crochets in there because our chain two does count as a double crochet in this pattern. So two double crochets. We're gonna chain two, turn our work, place two more double crochets because our chain two again counts as a stitch. And in your chain two, you're gonna place your last double crochet and we are gonna do this back and forth for a total of 26 rows. So I did 26 rows for this size because of how I wanted the yarn to end up facing. So I did 26 rows. You can do more or less however you want your arms to drape, but that's what we did. So here we are on our 26th row. We are going to attach this piece to the other side. So the way we're gonna do it is we are going to kind of turn 
our arm strap in backwards so that the wrong side is where our stitches that we're stitching together are. I hope that makes sense. You're gonna see it in the clip. So I'm matching my three that I counted out to where I'm going to attach my arm strap. And I'm gonna attach these with a single crochet. So we're gonna insert, we're gonna secure this one, and then we're going to attach the rest with single crochets. And you're gonna repeat the same action on the opposite side so that we have two arm straps. And then we're gonna fasten off. And we're going to come back when we have both of our arm straps. All right, so now we're on the back side of our dress. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make slip stitches along the top, just the top line of this dress, following the front, ending right here. And then when we come back around, this way is when we're going to start our ruffles. What I like to do is, because I learned my lesson the hard way, I either like to change my hook to a bigger hook to do these slip stitches, or you can do your slip stitches just extremely loose. Because if you do your slip stitches too tight, it will take you forever to insert your hook and place your double crochets. So, we are going to create a slip knot. And again, this is the back of our dress. We're going to be working from the back to the front. We're going to insert our hook right in there. Pull our loop through from the back. Then we're going to secure our loop. And now we are going to place our slip stitches very loosely. Again, I cannot stress this enough. Very loosely across the top or you will be fighting with the slip stitches to place your double crochet. So right in these holes of every double crochet on the strap is where I'm loosely placing a slip stitch. So we'll be doing this all the way until we get to this end so i don't put ruffles in the back if you like to put your ruffles in the back you can but i just do it across here around the front and i end it right there so i'm going to keep going with my slip stitches and when you get to the stitches you're going to place them right in your single crochet and i'll show you guys that when we get there so here we are coming up on where our single crochets are. So I'm going to place another slip stitch. And then I'm going to go right into the single crochet. And still loosely, very loosely placing our slip stitches. We don't want tight slip stitches. Again, it's going to be hard to get your hook through if they're super tight. So, so using a bigger hook and just slip stitching loosely will also work. Even if you don't have a bigger hook, you can use the same hook from this project. Again, just slip stitch very loosely. Loosely so you can fit your hook through. So we're going to do this until we get to the back side. Same thing when you get over here. I'm just going to... Place it right here and then move along to the back. So here we are placing our very last slip stitch. So we're going to place it right into this stitch. Pull it up. Of course, very loosely. So now I'm just going to pull up this loop. Switch back to my 4.5 millimeter. Tighten chain two and now we are going to place 
three double crochet in every slip stitch across the top. So I'm going to show you what I mean. So I'm going to put on the slip stitch, go underneath. The slip That's why I had recommended to do this lightly because you're going to go under them. And if it's too tight, it's going to be harder to do. So then we're going to pull up, double crochet. And then one more time. So that chain two does count as a stitch. I'm going to keep repeating this. So we're going to find our slip stitch. We're going to go under it. We're going to pull up a loop. And we're going to put three double crochet right into that same stitch. Again, under the slip stitch. And one more. And then again, find the slip stitch under. And place three double crochet in that same stitch. So we're going to do this all the way around until we get to our last slip stitch. And then we're going to chain two. And then we're just going to put one double crochet in every stitch until we have the length of the ruffles that we want. So we're only doing this three double crochet in every slip stitch for the very first row. Okay, so here we are at the corner where we're going to meet the slip stitches going across the top. So what we're going to do is find our next slip stitch. Which is right here. And again, chaining very loosely helped significantly with finding your slip stitches and placing your three double crochet. So again, find the slip stitch, place three, and here we are getting into the dress, so we're going to find the top of this slip stitch, right there. So you can see how even when they're a little bit loose they still take some putting your hook in to get through but if they were tighter than this it'd be so much harder and one more time so let me see the next slip stitch it's right here all right so you insert your hook this is the first slip stitch going across the top so we're going to place three Double crochets in here, and then three all the way down until our other end. So, again, all across this top, all across till right here. So, that's what I'm just going to keep doing with this stitch. So, here we are working in our last slip stitch with our three double crochet. So, I have three in. So, now we are going to chain two turn our work around and now we're going to place one double crochet in every stitch so skip the first one that it's coming out of into the second one all the way down until we have the length of the ruffles that we want so we're just going to keep putting one double crochet back and forth and then when you get to the end you're going to place your last double crochet in your chain two chain two repeat and then you're going to keep going so this is what we're going to do we're just going to keep placing double crochets back and forth until we have the length of the ruffles that we want 
All right, guys, so here we have our dress. The very first time I made this dress, I used cotton. So the rose draped a little bit more for my ruffles versus the acrylic that I used this time. But nonetheless, it still came out beautiful. And I did a total of 15 rows to make longer ruffles so that I can get more of a draping effect. But again, if you want the full draping effect, I think the cotton yarn is better to use. Or weight three yarn. And this is our full tube dress with our slit on the side. And then of course you have the ruffles at the top. There's tails everywhere that you'll need to tuck in. But this is our armhole. So if you want to wear it up, you can wear it down. I'm going to wear it off the shoulders. Another armhole. And this is what the back looks like. So just a straight panel and the back looks like this so if you're a crocheter and you actually put your stitch in the hole that the chain two is coming out of you will have a straight stitch here and it won't do this curve thing but i like the curve thing so that's why i just do that but again so where the chain two is coming out of if you put a stitch in there and you don't put a stitch in your chain two at the very end you just last visible stitch you have a straight stitch going down here so that's just a tip so this dress was actually very simple very easy to make just needed the blueprint so i gave it to you guys and i hope you guys enjoy creating this if you do make this dress please tag me in it thank you guys so so much for all the love and support you guys continue to show me continue to show this channel we're growing so much and i'm just so so grateful so thank you guys again from the bottom of my heart don't forget to like comment and subscribe to this channel for more content and i'll see you guys in my next video